our inspiration for this art project was when we first started this, um, we went down to the front part of Giant Steps and uh, we started picking the themes. And from there, we got the idea to do a uh, group's meal. Um, and then Gavin had the idea to make a uh, with mushrooms to symbolize decay. Yeah. I think there is sort of an interesting relationship between geese and humans. So geese are beneficial from an economic standpoint. Um, they're beautiful animals. They tend to attract a lot of tourists. And they're also good for the environment. Um, they can act as a food source for other animals in the ecosystem. And they're also good at spreading the seeds of wild plants. Um, if you can see here on the neck, these mushrooms here are the sort of mushrooms that would grow on a nursing log, which is a log that is slowly decaying and feeds plants as it dies, which sort of represents the goose's role as a source of food in the ecosystem. However, these mushrooms here are cordyceps, which as I will talk about later. Um, they infect ants and have them climb up to a high place so that they can spread their spores. Well, geese have a lot of benefits. They're also very detrimental to the environment. Um, their feces is a vector for E. coli and salmonella, and they tend to spread it through the water and infect many people and animals in the area. They also tend to trample grass, uh, kill crops, and generally pollute the landscape. And while they are a protected species, they are far from endangered. If anything, there are too many geese, and they tend to linger longer than they should, even though they are migratory birds. This can cause a huge problem in some areas, with a large population of geese posing a threat to both the human and animal populations in the area. However, when you think about it, in this regard, geese aren't so different from humans. We're both extremely overpopulated species that tend to destroy the world around us. Because just by living, we pollute, you know? With geese, it's sort of a matter of their basic biological functions. But with humans, our innovation, the same thing that's put us at the top of the food chain, is what tends to cause the most destruction around us. Geese spread everywhere. They spread their filth everywhere. And while they have some benefits to the environment, and we humans do too, we try our best to protect the environment and fix what we've done, there are also, you know, a lot of rot and decay and death that is caused by both humans and geese when they move around, which is sort of what this painting represents. You have this goose who is sort of zombified by these cordyceps, you know, and in this way, as the geese migrate, they spread these spores, this filth, this decay, right? Even though, at the same time, they can be good for their own. I think we should think about both the effect that, you know, all animals have on the environment when they are too dense in population, and the effect we have on the environment. So, at the beginning, when we first decided to join as a group and we all talked about what we wanted to do. We decided to do a mural at first, and we were gonna do one on the side of TCS, but due to uh, it taking probably um, until next September to be able to get approved for that, Cindy suggested that we just did it on something else. So Chelsea was nice enough to give us a palette, and we put canvas over that, and that's how we got this. <coughs> Talk about what the cordyceps is and what it does to the bug's body that it infects. It feeds onto the victim's innards until it's ready for the final stage. Several days after it lays down, the, fun the fungus sends a pretty body out through the base of the ant's head, turning its several parts into a launching pad, which <laughs> sheds for its spores infected.